Now here's that method again. But what we're going to do is change it from a task to a void to demonstrate the problem here. This guy will throw an exception. What you might want to do is call the above method using something like this. We do try, and then you would just do fetch data async, like so. And your catch block might have something like this in it. And you go console.write line caught. Now the problem is, if you run this code, what you'll notice is that this will, will probably not get caught. You will not catch this exception. It's not going to happen. You cannot use async void in this way. It will not work as designed. You need to change it to a task and then also await your method call like this. Now the only time this is acceptable is in UI frameworks for events. So you will see async void and something like button one click in UI frameworks like WPF or even our favorite, .NET MAUI.